Sure. So it probably makes sense to start with what the approval is of. Uh, Trilocyclib is a short-acting IV CDK4-6 inhibitor. And in oncology, we're used to thinking about CDK4-6 inhibitors as holding cancer cells out of cycle. Actually, it's very much the opposite here. Uh, this is not designed to hold cancer cells out of cycle. This is These are studies in small cell, which is obligate RB null, uh, which in slightly plainer English means that they would not be expected to be affected in any way by CDK4-6 inhibition. Rather, the aim of the drug is to hold the bone marrow progenitors out of cycle while the chemo is washing by in order to protect them from the suppressive effects of the chemotherapy. So this is a drug not aimed at improving disease-related outcomes such as PFS or OS, uh, but rather this is a quality of life drug, a drug aimed at uh, what uh, my colleagues at G1 are calling myelopreservation or uh, preventing lowering of blood counts with, of course, an ultimate gain of, gain of uh, goal, excuse me, a preservation of quality of life. So the approval is based on three randomized phase two studies. The first was carboplatin and etoposide plus either placebo or trilocyclib. While that study was being conducted, of course, PDL1 inhibition became a standard of care. And so the second trial was carboplatin, etoposide, and atezolizumab plus or minus trilocyclib. And the final study was the then standard of care in next line therapy, topo TCAN plus or minus trilocyclib. The results of each of the individual studies are fairly similar uh, to each other and to the pooled analysis. Each of them showed uh, a decrease in grade four severe neutropenia, the primary endpoint, but it's actually interesting that the effects go beyond that. Um, so in terms of breath, there was also preservation of the other, uh, um, the other lineages, particularly uh, red cells, but also platelets. Um, but to me, more interesting is the vertical uh, story here, that this was not just a numeric preservation of blood counts, but that that uh, resulted in decreased adverse events, of course.